Hey guys, uh, this is going to be a project, um, hopefully a quick one. So I've been working outside and it's always deadly quiet, birds are chirping, but I'm missing my music. So I went to Walmart, picked up these today, uh, $59, $24 a piece, so 110 bucks. Um, and this is Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, USB, touch screen, uh, 200 watts, so it's a uh, 50er channel, but you're not going to get that. So these are 160 watt peak, 30 watt, those will be perfect. And I'm not going to be playing it that loud. Uh, this neighborhood won't stand that. <laughs> anyway, but this is it here. And I was actually thinking of um, mounting the speakers up here in the bucket. But I'm not sure if it's tall enough. And then have this inside uh, on an angle so you see it from behind. But actually dunk it down and then you put the lid on to protect it. And I was thinking of maybe uh, calling it the bucket. But uh, I was in Walmart today uh, getting some essential stuff because I've got this tiny fridge that I'm living out of. So I almost have to go to the store every day. Um, and I saw in a suitcase for $22. And I was thinking I can put the speakers on the inside, go out through the fabric, unzip the top. This is inside there. So, and you can carry it. It doesn't look too much. So, anyway, this will be the project. So apply the heat. A little solder on to allow the transfer. And then feed the solder in. I don't like this cheap soda. Yeah. By the heat and then feed the solder in and it'll all feed up. And then careful not to move it for a while. Make sure you don't get any dry joints. There. Okay, so I got this ATX power supply. It's good for 15 amps on the 12 volts. So this was a used one in the trash. So, hey, freebie. I put um, cable, soldered cables on these with a nice length of wire. Uh, I'm just gonna hook it up, um, see it work, test it, and then I've gotta work out what to put it in. Uh, I'm still debating whether to use two speakers and put it in the bucket, uh, or to go get that um, suitcase from Walmart, or go to Lowe's or Home Depot, get some wood and make my own box. So, still debating on that. I may go with my own box, um, but I'm gonna hook it up now. Okay, so that power supply that I got uh, did not work. So I'm getting another one. Uh, and I've picked this as my carry case. So it has clips, so I can carry it like that. But I think it'd be cool to lift it up, have it hinged, and have this a speaker here and here, and I'm going to just glue it in, and then have a speaker down the front, have a piece of board here, that in there, and I can have my power supply over here or a battery over there if I want to uh, make it more portable. So. It's the coronavirus, so I'm really limiting my outside exposure just to get um, food. 
So I don't have a saw. Uh, they had this pegboard on the wall. So I wasn't going to use it. So I thought this is my board. And I made a, uh, a saw. I have some hacksaw blades. Some duct tape. So I made a handle. Uh, blade faces forwards one way. Backwards the other way. Put whatever weight cuts for you. It's slow going. This is my saw horse to bring it off. Two pieces of wood. I just sit on it and saw away. It's slow going, but I'll get there. And it's uh, how I'm making do uh, with what I've got. Okay, so power supply was bad. I got another one from a friend. So if you take the black and the green and tie them together, that's the switch. Yellow is 12 volts with a black and then uh, power supply hooked up, we'll turn it on and I've got 12.3 volts uh, so this power supply is good I had the speakers um, and I've soldered those up I made this mold uh, and then cut it out Put it on the side here, mount it with a pen, and then cut it out with my uh, trusty saw. I haven't been to the store yet. I'm limiting myself to one trip, a uh, shopping trip, a week. So I go to Walmart, and uh, this is what I can find there. So it doesn't look pretty. So I'll, I've got this cut out for that. So that'll go across here. Put a speaker here and here. Put a speaker here, here. That unit will go here with two speakers, so I'm going to put it together and we'll see what it looks like. Okay, I got it turned on. Uh, but they just open. And when I turn up the volume... Okay, that completes the build. Well, it's not really completed, but it's good enough to get it working. Uh, cost me $120. Everything I found at Walmart, except the computer power supply, which I got from a friend. Um, really cool project. I have no tools. Basically, I did everything with this, a hacksaw blade with some duct tape and a pair of uh, diagonal cutters. So, um, you know what? <laughs> it's amazing what you can do when you only got a few things. Anyway, that's my third video. The video sucks on the first two and there's no better on this one, but I'm kind of learning on what I need to do. Um, anyway, so that's one of my projects. I hope you enjoyed. It was fun, didn't take me too long, and I'm kind of, kind of, I like how I can carry it as a toolbox. So, it's kind of cool. Anyway, be safe.